Welcome to the Bland and Art Museum. Thank you for joining me today. This is Look and Learn, a podcast about artwork currently on display at the Blandon. The goal of this podcast is to connect with the Blandon members and learn about different works of art currently on display. Each week, sharing personal impressions and information on selected works of art and the artists who created them. Today we'll be looking at a print, A New England Stream by Thomas Nasson. Printed in 1951. In the print is an image of a stream cutting through a landscape that is framed by a forest on one side and an open field on the other. In the midground is a proud tree standing by itself and in the background rolling hills and a farmstead. Born in 1889, Thomas Nasson was raised on a farm in Massachusetts. After graduating in high school, he enlisted and served in the army during World War I. After the war, Thomas came home and worked a variety of different jobs. It was in 1921 his intellectual curiosity turned him to art, which developed into a lifelong career. He would become known for his poetic and somber observation of rural New England. Thomas's artistic touch came from a devotion to craftsmanship, technical mastery, and an eye for stylized realism. Self-taught with no formal printmaking schooling, Thomas learned what he could by studying books, making artistic observations from other prints, and lots and lots of practice. During his independent study, Thomas absorbed influences from from modernism like other artists, such as many originalists. The use of stylized forms and figures can be seen in the works by Grant Wood and Thomas Hart Benton. Through these stylizations, Thomas created within his works amplified moods and emotions. Thomas's favorite medium was wood engraving. Wood engraving is a form of, of relief printing in which the artist cuts wood away from the block, often with very fine incisions. The remaining raised areas of the wood are rolled with a thin layer of ink for printing. Using this printmaking method, Thomas would produce images that were inspired by the countryside which provided him with the ideal subject matter and temperament. A countryside full of colonial homes, vernacular architecture, and other symbols of austere rural life. Thomas worked mostly as an independent artist, but also accepted commissions for a variety of commercial projects and illustrations to supplement his creative process. One project he worked on was to provide illustrations for a book, a poem by Robert Frost. It was a perfect pairing, Frost with a strong connection to the rural, uh, to rural New England country, with simple, direct, and forceful words about American life, Nossen with his eloquent yet straightforward images. Called a poetic narrator of American life, Thomas Nossen's prints can be described as stately, eloquent, simple, and pure. If we look at the print, a New England stream, the lines are rendered precisely, and the forms are massed sparingly in textualized silhouettes. The shadows are bold and exact, and the light is bright and clean. This print is timeless. The place could be anywhere and can be found today just as it could be in the past. Personally, this print makes me think of places in Iowa that I visited with my family and growing up. Fishing in a trout stream in Decorah or walking along a stream in my backyard. I look at this print and see myself exploring the woods or fishing in the stream. I appreciate the richness of the black ink set on the bright white surface. The artist's use of highly calculated marks creates a very bold and velvet image. Compositionally, as the viewer looks at the printed image, The trip into the landscape begins floating down a stream that cuts diagonally across the picture plane. The water slowly drifts the viewer back to the horizon, where a bridge makes a beautiful transition. At that point, the viewer can hop off onto the bridge and head to the farmstead nestled in the hills. I enjoy the way the forest in the foreground starts dense and heavy, full of energy, and then quickly transitions into a couple of dead branches reaching for the farm. I feel the woods longs to be closer to the farm and the people that live there. 
It is interesting how the image is both quiet, but also full of energy and motion. This combination comes from the depiction of the tops of the trees, as if a wind is blowing through the leaves. The viewer can almost feel the wind blowing in their face. This motion can be picked up in the hills as they roll along in the background. The hills and the motion of the trees counter each other, creating a tension that is balanced yet calming. Thomas Nasson is a poet of marks and images, creating an American narrative that is timeless. I enjoy a New England stream, and I hope you did too. Well, that's all I have for today. Thank you for listening in. As you go about your day, think about the different ways you encounter nature. Let it inspire you. Enjoy it. Be creative. Bye for now. See you next time.